my guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the collapse of everything. It is a lovely spring Saturday afternoon here in the end times in uh, Dundellan, Florida. And I have to go meet my new neighbor and uh, make sure we agree on our property line so I don't start chainsawing down his trees in my zeal to create sandhill crane habitat in Inverness, Florida. But anyway, so I gotta run out of here. So I'm gonna make this rant fairly quick. I was, uh, and I still might get around. I wanna thank uh, Tommyist, Lieutenant Tommyist from Vermont for sending me this long article in The Guardian titled End of the World Vibes Why Culture Cannot Stop Thinking About Apocalypse Are We Living Through the End Times? Dorian Linsky interrogates our insatiable appetite for doom and asks why each generation is so drawn to the idea that they will be the last. Well, uh, I am a boomer doomer, so uh, I don't think the boomers will be the last generation, but I, I've always liked the <laughs> the whole concept of Generation Z. Uh, what years do Generation Z entitle it? And what does that imply? I'm, uh, we will see if Generation Z is the, is the final generation. But anyway, this is a, it's actually an excerpt from a new book. And this is a long excerpt from a new book. Sounds like it could be a good read. And I might get back to this uh, later. But uh, I just want to answer this question uh, that, that I, it, you know, this crap that I hear from normies all the time when, when they roll their eyes that I'm talking about that we are in the end times, which is exactly uh, what we're in. And, you know, they, they look at me like I'm some lunatic, you know, Christian holding up, a, you know, a cross and uh, screaming the end is nigh and whatsoever and, and, and whatever uh, like that. But I just simply want to uh, show some mathematical, so Elliot, is this mathematical proof? Uh, what, what would we call this? Okay. This is why I think it is a mathematical certainty that we are in the end times. So we're going to call it that modern humans have been on the planet for 300,000 years. We're going we're gonna to pick this number that we can generally agree that what we call modern humans uh, have been around, uh, you, you know, fucking things up uh, for 300,000 years. So I, I just need to state where I'm starting from. <clears throat> So, uh, we've been around for 300,000 years. Okay, so I've done some, I've gone on percentage calculator. Okay, assuming that, you know, the 300,000 year total baseline, assuming that, uh, that humans have 3,000 years left on this planet. 3,000 years left uh, uh, on this planet making some wild, absurd statement uh, that we have 3,000 years left. That means we are 
percent of the way to the end. 99 percent, that's assuming we've got 3,000 years left. Okay, assuming that, you know, we're starting to get a little more reasonable that we have 300 years left out of a 300,000 uh, time span, assuming that humans have 300 years left on this planet, we are 99.9% of the way to uh, our final demise. Hallelujah. That, that's giving us 300 years. We are 99.9%. And then, uh, if you want to go the 30 years, give us 30 years, you know, if you're starting to get to be more of a doomer and you think sometime in the next 30 years uh, that humans are going to go, then at that point we would be 99.99% and of course if you are one of these clueless fucking moron uh, near-term human extinction um, jackasses, uh, and you think we have three years, that humans are going to be extinct in three years, then we are 99.999% of the way into the brick wall. Now, I am somewhere in the 30 to 300 range. Sometime in the next 30 to 300 years. This is just my reading of the tea leaves. Uh, I think we have more than 30, less than 300, but what that means is we're quibbling about are we 99.9% of the way uh, with 300 years, or are we 99.99%? I'm going to put it somewhere in the middle at 99.5%. I, I am saying we are 99.5% of the way uh, to you know into the brick wall. So I think that being 99.5% of the way to the end of something qualifies by pretty much anyone's definition of living in the end times. Okay? We're 99 point... Uh, I've already got this mixed up. We are, we are 99.95. So, it, 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 I, I want to make a little, a little analogy. If you have ever been stuck, as I have not been that many times in my life, although we've all suffered this, if you have ever been, let's call it a three-hour trip with a fucking little uh, three- or four-year-old brat uh, in the back seat, bouncing around, uh, trying to, well, I guess it's now trying to get out of their car seat, whatever, but you have, you know, made some awful, uh, awful, awful uh, lapse of judgment in your life and actually bred, and, and you have a three or a four year old in the back seat playing the when are we going to get their game. So we're going to pretend like. We're on a three-hour trip. Okay, it's like, I don't know, like me going from here to, uh, I, 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 I don't know, Jacksonville. So I'm, I'm driving from Dunellen to Jacksonville. It's a three-hour trip, and the little brat starts asking me, pretty much with the skyline of Jacksonville in sight. <clears throat> so we leave at noon. <clears throat> We're scheduled to get there at 3 p.m. We're scheduled 
to get there to Jacksonville at 3 p.m. So at 2.45 p.m., at 2.45 p.m., with 15 minutes left, if the little brat says, are we almost there? Well, what you actually are, you're 91.7% of the way there. Uh, if you have 15 minutes left to your destination, uh, you're only 91.7% of the way there. So are we almost there or not? Well, let's say the little fucker uh, asks you the question five minutes later. So now you're 10 minutes from the end of your journey and the little brat says, are we almost there? Uh, you still, well, you're only 94.5% of the way there. Uh, you're only 94.5. Let's say the little fucker actually makes it uh, to 2.55 p.m. You're five minutes away from your destination. The little fucker asks you, are we almost there? Well, I don't know. Uh, you're 97.2% of the way there. Well, let's say the little fucker uh, at 2.58 p.m., two minutes to your destination, uh, the little brat says, are we almost there? I'm thinking most people would say, yes, you little brat, we're almost there, because you would be 98.9% .9 of the way there. Okay, you would be, well, which is getting pretty close to 99%. So, at, uh, at, at 2.58 p.m., when you're 98.9% .9 of the way there, you're going to be there in two minutes uh, uh, out of a three-minute drive. You are, that's the same thing as saying that humans have 3,000 years. Let's break it down some more. One minute away, 99.4%. Uh, 99.4 percent. Finally, 30 seconds. 30 seconds from the destination, your little brat says, "Are we almost there yet?" Meaning, at the end of our journey, 30 seconds. You've been driving for two hours, 59 and a half minutes. And you finally, well, you're, you, you, no, you're still not, uh, you're, you're still not there. Uh, you're at 99.8%. So, if your little brat with 15 seconds left in a three hour, you're, you're, you're 15 seconds from pulling in the driveway of your, uh, of your destination and your little brat asks you, are we almost there yet? At that point, at that point would be the same thing as saying humans have 300 years left to go. That's the analogy. Uh, and then, of course, 30 years uh, is... Uh, 30 years is about five seconds that if you if you believe that humans are going to be extinct in 30 years uh, it's uh, you, you, you know it would be five seconds so I am putting it between uh, five and 15 seconds so uh, I would say 10 seconds so, where we are in our journey as humanity from Donellan, Florida to Jacksonville on our three-hour journey 
from uh, noon to 3 p.m. It is now 2.59 and 50 seconds. 2.59 and 50 seconds. If some little brat were to ask me, are we almost there? Are we almost at the end of our journey? And we have 10 seconds left to go. I think it would be safe to tell the little fucker, yes, you little fucker, we are almost at the end of our journey. The engine will soon be turned off. We will progress no farther because we are at the end of the line. And uh, th th this is why, uh, to me, uh, how anybody, any clueless moron, can, can deny th that we are in the end times. Uh, we have 10 seconds left uh, on a three-hour journey. We've been driving into the brick wall for two hours and 59 minutes and 50 seconds. Uh, we got in the driver's seat 300,000 years ago, starting off on our three-hour journey. We are, in my opinion, uh, 10 seconds uh, from driving uh, our gas-sucking car into a brick wall at uh, pick your speed. But anyway, uh, while I still have 10 seconds to go, uh, I need to go gas up my chainsaw. Go gas up my chainsaw. I've already put all of the trees on the ground. That's the easy part is putting the trees on the ground. And now I have to start sawing them up getting uh, getting my burn pile from hell ready so uh, I can start burning the planet down in my last 10 seconds of my journey. That's what I'm going to be doing is uh, chainsawing uh, trees lying on the ground while I still can. My guys, All right, little dog, you ready to go do some chainsawing?